calibrate your rotary digital wheel balancer, you will need these tools. To start your calibration, press the dim button and the magnifying glass button at the same time. Next, enter the password by pressing the user button four times. You are now in the menu. A C should be displayed on the D2 screen. C is for calibrate. Next, press the RC button to select C for calibration. Then use the arrow buttons to go to calibration three, which is shown with a C3. Then press the RC button. The letter A will display on the D1 screen. This is for distance. At this point, mount your calibration wheel. The calibration wheel must be a 15 inch steel wheel that is balanced within one ounce or 30 grams. Next, measure the distance with the distance gauge. Once measured, the letter B will display on the D1 screen. Now use the width gauge that was supplied with the balancer to obtain the width of the calibration wheel. Then use the arrow buttons to enter the wheel's width and press the RC button. At this point, both screens will show all zeros. Next, lower the hood. The machine will now do a calibration spin. Make sure to allow the machine to complete this process before raising the hood. At the end of this spin, the D2 screen will show either 3.50 or 100. This depends on whether your machine is set up for ounces or grams. Now, find a spot on the wheel that has no weights on either side that will interfere with the calibration weight. Next, press the positioning pedal and then attach the calibration weight to the 12 o'clock top dead center position on the outside of the wheel. Remove your foot from the positioning pedal and lower the hood to spin the wheel. Once again, allow the machine to spin and come to a complete stop before raising the hood. Once the wheel is done spinning, the D1 screen should now display 3.50 or 100, depending on the weight parameters selected on the machine. Next, rotate the wheel so that the calibration weight is at the 12 o'clock top dead center position. Press and hold the positioning pedal and take the calibration weight off of the outside of the wheel and move it to the 12 o'clock top dead center position on the inside of the wheel. Next, remove your foot from the positioning pedal and lower the hood again. Once the wheel finishes spinning, the balancer should display F80, yes. This means that the balancer was successfully calibrated. You can now press the RC button to save the calibration data. Then press the stop button several times to return to the balancer's home screen. Then remove the calibration weight to end the calibration process and be sure to save it in a safe place for future calibrations. At this point, you can run through the balancing process with your calibration wheel to see that the machine is fully calibrated.